Hi folks, happy Friday. It's the weekend, I'm very excited about. Um, which will be nice, I can chill out. I've worked a lot this week. Um, so I'm looking forward to a weekend off. Although having, <laughs> having said that, I am thinking about delivering some mugs on Sunday. So um, we'll see <laughs> what happens. Um, right, let's get you guys up on here so I can say hello. Um, yeah, we'll see how the weekend goes. I might, I might even have a duvet day on Sunday. Um, I haven't had a duvet day in a long, long time. So that might actually be quite nice to do. <laughs> that, might be, that might be lovely to do. Um, so how are you all? Are you up to much at the weekend? Are you all desperate to run down the pub? I have to say I'm kind of not desperate to run down the pub or um or anything like that but or get my hair my hair does need doing but i'm not particularly desperate to go and do it tomorrow um hello sue how you doing happy friday excellent stuff um i might do some music this weekend so ed's been uh been very busy this week doing lots and lots of different music stuff um i think he's had quite a lot of fun putting together albums and recording lots of music um so i might record some music with him this weekend which would be nice which will be really nice hi lynn happy friday um yeah so that might be quite cool this weekend that might be quite good to do um and yeah kind of watching all the mad people that are gonna be rushing to the pub probably <laughs> i kind of i have a theory that the people that probably aren't going to be rushing to the pub or kind of desperate to go there um, will probably be the sensible people. So I kind of have this theory that a lot of the people that are going to be going out to the pub are going out probably intentionally to just get completely drunk. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hi, Joe. How are you doing? Nice to have you with us. Excellent. Excellent. Um, we're going to do something uh, quite fun today, so we're going to um, do a little bit of paper folding in with our drawing today. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good good fun. It's going to be good fun. Um, so I'm going to start drawing with a pencil, but then I might actually outline it um, in fine liner as well. So I've just got, or or you could do it in like biro, whatever kind of pen that you've got. Um, Lynn not going to the pub? No, I've, I have to say I'm just I'm not urging to do it. I have to say. Um, hi Vicky, you're avoiding the crowded pubs as well. Yeah, yeah, I think like I'm all for the, you know, supporting your local and all of that. But I think, yeah, doing it during the week next week might be a much more sensible option, actually. That's very, very good idea. Um, hi Emma, excellent stuff. Nice to have you with us. Um, yeah, it's a difficult one, difficult one. Because you want to support people, but equally... Yeah, avoid the mad rush this weekend, maybe, and then then support people. I think it's a good idea. So what we're going to do is I'm, uh, I've actually got a smaller bit of paper today, but kind of A5 bit of paper. Um, but it's entirely uh, up to you guys. If you've got A4, that's fine. We'll work with A4. It's absolutely fine. Uh, hi, Mum. Nice to join us. Um, so I am going to be doing a fish. We're going to be drawing a fish um, that's going to have a bit of a secret a uh, bit in the paper that's going to fold up so I'm going to kind of show you what I'm doing um it'll be good fun it'll be good fun oh the other thing I have to tell you guys as well is uh next week obviously we're doing watercolor painting the week after we're going to be doing um bullet journals completely went out of my mind then the week after we're going to be doing bullet journals so it, I am ordering today some uh dot books dot paper um but they're kind of thin sketchbooks they're only about two pounds each um, but I'm going to open them from Artway and they've just got like a grid of dots basically but it just makes it a little bit easier to do um, the kinds of things that you do in bullet journals um, but you can you can use a, a blank sketchbook's absolutely fine um, cool so if you would like me to order you one and you'd like to come and pick them up from me when they get delivered in Tom and Dwells, let me know by this afternoon because I need to or by later this afternoon because I need to order them I need to order them today um mum, pubs aren't open there yet in wales i know but wales is about two weeks behind everyone else so um i'm not surprised they will be they will be cool so let me push that back and drop you guys down so you can see what i'm doing she says i keep having trouble with this um with my tripod at the moment there we go right so the first thing we're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper 
and you're going to fold it in half and really really nice and crease it i don't think i folded that quite in half there so nice and creased and then you're actually going to kind of fold it back on itself so that you've got a nice little flap going on here so if i hold that sideways you can see what i mean so fold it in half and then fold this bit back on itself a little bit and then give them really, really nice creases. So you make sure that's really creased and really flattened. So you end up with a piece of paper that does that. And there's some sideways view, it's probably easier. So it almost looks like a Harry Potter skull sideways. <laughs> okay, so you've got a really nice little flap there. So we're gonna remain that flap closed, so it's all folded up. And that's the bit that we're going to work on. I might actually turn that upside down for me just because I've realised I've not done it very even, so I've got the thinner bit at the top. It's a smaller bit at the top and bigger bit at the bottom. Okay, so it does that. All right, hopefully everyone has got that. Hopefully everyone's got that. So I'm going to draw, and I'm almost going to do a kind of cartoony type um, fish. Let me move you guys a bit closer. Um, because I don't, I don't necessarily want it to be... I might do a Finding Nemo fish, actually. So what we're going to do is using where this fold is, I'm going to use that to draw the fish. Now I am going to go over this in a bit of a fine liner um, so that you guys can see. And I'm just drawing a very, very simple fish. And you'll notice that the middle of the fish, where the, the top is and where the bottom is, is split in the middle. Okay, so I will I will draw this in fine liner as I say so that you guys can see this a little bit easier. Um he needs a little fin and one on the top maybe as well. We'll get him going with an eye. So let me get my fine liner up and draw this out to show you. So we're gonna go up here with his tail. I will hold this up so you guys can see this a bit better as well. He looks a little bit shark-like actually at the moment, but he won't once I've got colour on him. There we go. So we'll kind of split the uh, fish halfway down the middle. So I'm going to... I might just draw part of his eye in actually so you guys can see that as well. So I'll lift it up in a sec. There we go. So very, very, very cartoony. So you've got that fish, but you can see that it splits there in the middle. Yeah. So when it comes together, it joins up. And with the eye, all it is is three circles. So I've done a circle around the outside, circle in the middle, and then a circle, a tiny circle just offset. So you get that white glint in the eye and the rest are colored in black. So hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, and then a fin on top and a fin on the bottom. And they just joins there. All right, hopefully you guys have got that. So I'm gonna add, uh, hello Cheryl, don't worry, don't worry, These all of these videos are all recorded so that they're put um, on our Facebook page afterwards. So I'm gonna do a couple of bubbles there coming out of him and um, then along the bottom, if you wanted to, you could put some um, like some seaweed and the kind of the bottom of the, the ocean almost. So we put a kind of bit of seaweed going along there. Maybe some shells. Might draw a nice little shell there. You can put whatever you like in it, to be honest. Another little bit of seaweed, maybe. Getting a bit wonky there with that bit. Uh, maybe a treasure chest. I reckon I could get one of those in. That would be cool. Um, there we go. Just add that along there. Oh, it sounds like the dustbin men are coming along. Oh, bit of a wonky line. There we go. So it's a very wonky line on that treasure chest. Um, I'm going to apologise for that. 
So can you see that I've just added in a few more details. Uh, so I've added a couple of bubbles, I've added just a few bits of uh, seaweed, shell, and a nice little wonky treasure chest going on there. We'll say it's warped because of the water. That's my excuse for that one. Okay, so what I might do is actually colour these in while I'm here. Um, I'm going to use my felt tips actually so that they're nice and strong so that you can kind of see what's going on. So I'm just going to uh, colour those bubbles in with the blue. And again, as you can see, I'm being very messy with them, not being very careful at all. Um, I might do a nice orange fish. I'm going to do a Nemo fish, I think. So I'm going to get them nice and orange at the front. You guys can colour in your fish whatever colour you would like. Um, let's get a couple of stripes going in. I have no idea how many stripes Nemo has. This one's having three. Um, I can't actually remember how many stripes Nemo had. There we go. And you guys can, you know, if you're using um, pencil, if you wanted to outline it first and then rub out the pencil, do. I haven't actually rubbed out any of the pencil in this. So it's probably going to look pretty sketchy and scrappy. There we go. Oh, I quite like this orange colour. I've got a bit of a thing about orange. It is, orange is meant to be a very, very creative colour, is the colour of creation. Colour, uh, creativity and playfulness. So if you think about all the things, all the logos and things like that, that have orange in them. So like Nickelodeon, uh, kids TV, um, Fanta is an orange, isn't it? Um, or Tango used to be an orange as well. Uh, what else? What other logos can you think of that have got orange in them? There's quite a few, and they all seem to be kind of playful, um, yeah, kind of creative brands. It's quite interesting when you're looking to kind of colour about brands. So things like, uh, so blue is supposed to be very kind of trustworthy, um, the kind of there for you brands, family brands, I guess, so Facebook very very blue um ford blue what else is blue i'm trying to think it's quite interesting when you look at the, the colors with branding and what they represent and how they make people feel different colors there we go so i'm going to color in my fish i'm going to leave all the stuff on the bottom for now and i'm just going to keep my fish now the reason that i wanted to color in my fish is because we need to draw the rest of him as to what happens when we open it up okay so what's going to happen to this fish is I'm going to bring this line down a little bit at the top of his mouth and then I'm going to open up a really big wide mouth and put some nice big teeth in. Nice pointy teeth. And then I'm going to put a little tiny fish in here. Or maybe a couple. I might do a couple of tiny fish. Unsuspecting fish who look like they're about to be eaten. Put some little fins on them. So hopefully, can you guys see that? So I've done that nice big mouth. So we go from being a very, very happy, lovely little fish, wandering around, swimming around, to suddenly a big scary fish with lovely big teeth and going to eat the fish. <laughs> which I love, I love, I love. Orange Mobile, yeah, Orange, uh, what's, but it's changed now, isn't it? It's EE now. But yeah, Orange Mobile, when that was out, and it was, uh, what was their slogan? The future's, future's bright, the future's orange. Yeah, that's very true, actually. 
So I'm just going to join up the two bits on the end of the tail, which does make him look like an extremely fat fish as well. Um, and then what we're going to do is continue our colouring and our lines. So try and attempt to join them up in the middle so that we continue those stripes. Just. And this one too. And then just continue the colouring in the bit that you're not going to really see until you open it and reveal your piranha type fish going on here. Okay, so colour down. I might just do the front of him here just so that I can show you guys what it's going to look like. Um, the M for McDonald's. Yeah, so the yellow and red of McDonald's. So red is about um, actually a lot of fast food. If you look at fast food joints, a lot of them have red in. KFC, red. Um, Burger King's got red and yellow in. So red and yellow are um, happiness. Yellow is the happiness. Red is about that passion and um, being uh, fulfilled or unfulfilled, that kind of want and need. Um, it's an action as well. So red is an action. It's a kind of, um, which you wouldn't, you wouldn't actually think of red because you think of red as stop sometimes. But when it's combined with the yellow, it's definitely like, it's an action. You need to go and do something right now. Um, so yeah, yeah, McDonald's is a really interesting one. Um, and a lot of them use yellow. Burger King's got yellow in it, I think as well, hasn't it? As well as McDonald's. Um, and it's that kind of, that happiness. So what they're doing is they're promoting happiness by, if you buy another McDonald's. <laughs> Which is really interesting when you think about the psychology of it and the kind of addictiveness of it as well. Love playing around with colour. <laughs> there we go, let's do this. I might as well do him all now as I'm here. Do the last bit of him. There we go. And what colour should I do? What colour should I do the little fish? I might do them in a nice blue or something. There we go. Nearly done him. So, your weekend challenge, folks is that I want you to create another one of these, but with an entirely different situation or scenario. So it could be that you have uh, a person that looks really short, and then when you open it up, actually they're a lot taller and there's something else going on in between. It could be a, um, what else could it be? It could be a person. It could be a building that looks like a normal home, but as you open it up, it's like a um, block of flats with some strange goings on in the middle. It could be all kinds of things. Here we go. So there's your lovely little Nemo fish floating along. And then, Suddenly, he's a big scary fish eating all the little ones <laughs> or chasing after them. <laughs> so I just thought it was a nice bit of a fun thing to do on a Friday. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna finish off colouring the bottom of mine, uh, and then I'll I'll take some pictures and put it on. I love that, love that. Um, what else have you guys been saying? Uh, purple. Oh yeah, so pur yeah, purple in in brands. So if you think of like dairy milk, yeah, and Cadbury's. Yep, so purple's very much um luxury. I always think of purple as luxury. Um so a lot of hotels use purple in their logos, a lot of spas use purple in their logos. Um yeah, so it's that luxurious kind of like you're treating yourself. Um, interesting, really interesting. It's also used quite a lot in um, religious sectors as well, interestingly enough, which I'm pretty sure promotes the opposite of luxury, but 
there we go. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. Sorry, I've been giving you a bit of a branding colour lesson alongside that as well. Um, but colour is really interesting. It's fascinating what people um, see with colour and how it makes them feel and how it's used in branding. Really, really interesting. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed that little bit of fun on Friday. Weekend challenge, don't forget, is to do one of these, but as a different scenario or a different situation. Um, have a go, it's fun, it's fun. Um, Monday, Monday you'll need watercolour paper, your watercolour paints, a water jar, and your brushes. It's as simple as that for Monday, we're going to keep it nice and simple. Um, if you want me to order you uh, some dot paper and you can come and collect from me in Tunbridge Wells, um, just pop a comment below and I will be ordering those this evening. Alrighty. Enjoy. Thank you so much guys for joining me. Have a fabulous weekend. Um, whatever you are up to, going to the pub or not, um, have fun, enjoy and I'll see you on Monday. I'll see you on Monday at 2pm. Bye guys.